morning, good morning from Everglades National Park. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I don't know, got up about 4.30 or so. I'm excited about going fishing. Up to my favorite spot. Lord willing. We're going to catch some nice fish out here today. I am due for a big one. Um, I've only caught one or two. I usually catch, you know, five or six monsters in here during the uh, three or so months that are open, that the lake is open, or the pond, should I say. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a nice day. It's going to be. I want to thank you guys for liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel. I'm just a homestead boy messing around, having a good time, enjoying what little time I have off. So I brought the uh, Wahoo with me today. That's the reason why I bought it, to fish these little ponds in here. And then feel free, I use it in other areas where uh, there's a bigger body of water. And I don't have to carry it so far back. Well, anyways, uh, we're hoping for the best. I know it's going to be a good day. And we're blessed to be out here. So, I love coming out here. I love getting up early in the morning and just hanging out out here, watch the sunrise. So we got bass, we got snook, we got tarpon, we got the the Maya cichlids out here. I've caught lady fish in here. dark out here. The sun is breaking through or the daylight is breaking through. No, the camera doesn't pick it up. I wish I could bring my drone out here. There's the moon. The bugs are, uh, are out, man. Shoot, I didn't see that coming. So, trying to catch that sunrise. The bugs are out, they're out. I have to put this thing over my head, put my uh, sweatpants on, because they're out. Um, last week, a couple weeks back, they were not this bad. But here I am, man, at my, uh, my favorite spot. There's the Wahoo, getting ready. These freaking bu uh, turkey buzzers, man, they get all over my truck. Get out of here, come on, get out of here. They get up on my truck and just crap all over it, man. Get out of here. Oh, ugly looking bird. <laughs> uh, I look at those ugly catfish I catch out there in salt water. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ooh, you know the crap out of that thing. Oh, that felt good, the third cast. God, that felt good. Counting my chickens before the egg hatch. Thank <laughs> you. 
feijão, do lugar. Feijão, do lugar. <risos> feijão, do lugar. Feijão, do lugar. The bugs, man, were nasty this morning, or are nasty. There's still one or two flying around here, messing with me. Nice. You hit it with an attitude, man. We came full speed and nailed it. Hey, that's always a dangerous thing to uh, do. Mm, I don't like that. Just that little nick. See that little nick right there? Right there? Mm -mm. That's got to go. I gotta change that. That piece of leader off. Something big right there. I was coming this way, so the kayak and turned around. Could be a big molly, you know, but. Nice little wake in front of it. <clears throat> you nailed the crap out of that one. <laughs> These little guys, man, are so freaking strong. They hit it with such an attitude you think you have a, a beast on. Come here, buddy. Look at you. Look how pretty you are, man. Last week, uh, or two weeks ago, when I was up in Port Canaveral, somehow in Merritt Island, fishing the back country, my net fell out, and I didn't even know it until late that day. So I've been working overtime and stuff and dealing with that drone I bought. And I haven't bought me a one, but I gotta get me a net. See if I pick one up this weekend. I don't wanna buy it online, I wanna look at it. So, go to the bait shop or something and pick one up there. Hey, what's up, Mr. Mullet? All right, love it. Love being out here. Saturday morning. Yeah, fish jumping all around. <laughs> you guys, fish jumping all around. This is beautiful. Look at this. You're sitting right on top of a monster school of mullets. Oh, that's a snook. Oh, that was a big snook, probably chasing these mullets. Oh, that was a big snook chasing these mullets. That's why they were jumping. I really believe that's why they were jumping so much. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that gave me chills. Boy, I love being out here. This is beautiful. Thank you, Lord. I wish I could fly my drone in here. I'm not allowed to fly a drone inside national parks. I think that's wrong, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, that was a big fish. Hear that? I don't like that. My fear free doesn't do that. That hall slapping. I do not like that. Trees, mangroves, fish off, just like that. 
fish on, fish off. See, look, see. No sooner as you get next to the trees, boy, they go on the attack. Oh, nasty mosquito! So this little spot right here. Let me turn around. This little edge. A couple years back, three years ago or so. Before all these mangroves grew out, there's some big boulders just lined up. The whole little island has boulders lined up all the way around. The guy, whoever, the guy who dug this up, I mean, he knew what he was doing when he built this island. He just built boulders all the way around it. And the mangroves have grown out and have, and you can't get them, you can't reach them. And you fish. Especially this side, you would fish this side of the island and the snook be laying up in them boulders down there. And you tear them up, man. And now you come through here and it's so hard to catch a fish here because they're way back. Under the mangroves, you can see the sunlight in there. And you can't get to them. So, that is what it is. Enjoying a beautiful morning out here. Got two or three snook, lost a couple small ones, nothing to brag about yet. Hopefully, this is the day I catch one to brag about. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, let me get back to fishing. More fishing, less talking. Sky. I like to have my little uh, my clouds. I like to fish when it's cloudy out. I'm not saying you won't catch fish. I just like to have some cloud cover when I'm fishing. so bright for the last couple nights. Which of these guys have been spent the whole night feeding. Another two, maybe three weeks before of the pond being open. Hopefully they can get a night fishing trip out here. I just don't want to do it on a kayak. Too many big gators. I'm doing a John boat. And I don't have a John boat. I've never fished this place at night. That was a snug though. I felt that thump. You can tell the difference between a thump and a bump. A 
bump and a bump. There it is. Good fish too, guys. Good fish. Oh my god! Come on! Oh man, no! Well, that's freaking heartbreaking right there. Oh, that's why I backed up because I felt that thump. What the heck, man? Shoot. Man, that is heartbreaking right there. Look, look, he shredded my leader up. Look at that. He had it in his mouth. He had it in his mouth. Look at my leader. Look at that. See it? See it? Shoot. What the heck, man? off with it he had it in his mouth because the leader came out all shredded up so I changed the bait and I put this guy on hoping there's another one down there hanging out with him it's about 18 20 feet deep there and he was a nice fish man he headed straight for the middle he took off out to the middle man didn't have him on there long, but I don't know, a few seconds. I did feel good though. Heartbreaking. I didn't even get to see him. He jumps and I see him. You know, it's cool if he gets off, I'm gonna release him anyways. At least let me see him. Relax, man. I'll let you go. Just relax. Okay, get one off. Hook him with the other one. Hook him good, too. the crap out of that one <laughs> dude you gotta be a better fish man the attitude man <laughs> i love it dude the heck you think you are 10 pounder you know the crap out of that thing man love it thank you lord mm -mm -mm. come here buddy open your mouth and say ah oh. <laughs> Catching a five pound bass, man. Oh, it's cold, they got a lot of energy, man.
pissed off, aren't you? <laughs> Freaking attitude, man. You gotta love it. Come here, man. I'm gonna let you go so you guys can grow up. I'll catch you next year. Come next, uh, August and September, I'll come out here and catch you again. With Lord permitting, I live to see you next year. I don't see why not, but hey, you never know. Tomorrow's not promised for anyone. So I'm going fishing today. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. These little guys are just so much fun to catch, man. Come here, man. Thank you. Quick release. I like that. I gotta change that leader. Let me see. Oh, I'm gonna change that leader. I can't. I can't. I can't leave it like that. I'm not losing a big fish. We gotta cut that sucker out. Redo it. That sun got hot, man. Put my hand. <laughs> I'm having a blast out here. The fishing slow, but the six, seven fish that I've caught have given me a nice uh, fight, so I've enjoyed the heck out. The wind picked up a little bit, got me by surprise. And I haven't been watching the news. Heck, I've been working late all week, so. But, uh, let me quit running my mouth and get back to fish. <laughs> Those are the uh, biologists looking at the uh, the pond. They come fly by, they see other birds, and they shut it down. If they don't see a lot of bird action. It could be the biologists checking this place out. See if they should go ahead and shut it down. Usually do it like the the first or second week of January. I can catch a nice one out of here. Just a little circle. 30, 35 yards out and it starts to drop. About 18 feet or so. It's a big rock sitting right around here. Should be right around there. There it is right there. See it? See it? See that big rock right there? Just sitting in the shadow. Just... <clears throat> Fishing love to come up in here. Oh, I love that. See in the shadow here. Oh, I love the way he hit that though. Come here, buddy. Come here. Mm, shoot, I love it. Mm, mm, mm. Come here, man. Come on, let you go. Come here. See that? Grab him right there. Boom. Paralyzed. Can't move.
There you go, man. He was hooked in a weird spot, man. Thank you, Lord. Come here, buddy. He was on. He dropped it right in front of his mouth. You done? Brunch. Good place to have brunch. Really good place. Water back here. Oh, it's deep too. Oh, it's deep back here. Oh, shallow over there. Look at all this water back here and deep. And I can't fish it. You can hear snake popping all over this place back in here. What you gonna do with a big snake in here? Mm -hmm. I 
kind of shallow in here. I thought it was kind of feet or so. <coughs> Three or four feet deep. That's deep there. And I'm not all the way down the bottom. See? See, see what I mean? Oh, this is a bad man. The only big one that I had on over there spit the hook. And he was a uh, good fish too. So he was a slot fish, if not a little bigger. But I didn't get to see him. As soon as it hit the water, I hit him upside the head with it. As soon as it hit the water, it was on. He was probably yawning, and I dropped it in his mouth. Uh, you were yawning, and I dropped it in your mouth, huh? Hey, easy, man. Peeing all, man, what you did? Sitting all over me like that. It crapped all over me, man. A hot dog. That's what I get, huh? They're sticking me with hooks. That dude took a crap all over the place. Let me back up because I just caught two. Big mama might be sitting in there. I think I made them hungry. They were watching me eat my sandwich. Because the bite was totally turned off. Ooh. Help you out, man. So this is it. I had a really nice time out there. 1:30. It's 1:30. When I got here around six, it's in the water by 6:20. picked up a lot, a lot. I thought it was going to be 10, 5 to 10, but it, I 
I believe there was time that it gusts up to 25 or 30 too. So, but I had a really good time out here. I want to thank you guys for liking and sharing my videos. Um, for spending time with me. I wish y'all can be out here and enjoying this uh, beautiful park. So, anyone uh, who would like to join me out here on a fishing trip, they're more than welcome to hit me up. So, till next time, again, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed my video.